The Watermelon Tree by Corinna Karras. There was once an old brown country bear who enjoyed nothing better than to sit in the cool shade on a hot summer's day and eat watermelons. His favorite place to sit was under the leafy branches of a large walnut tree that grew next to a farm where the farmer had planted a field full of watermelons. One very hot and sunny morning, the bear was lying under the walnut tree in order to keep cool. When his mouth began to water, he thought about how much he would like a watermelon to eat. How oh, I would love a nice cool melon right now to sink my teeth into, he thought. But it is way too hot for me to go all the way over there and carry one all the way back here. The lazy bear stretched himself out under the walnut tree and yawned. How absurd, he said aloud, that a plain brown wrinkly thing like the walnut should grace the branches of one of the most beautiful of trees, and such a splendid and delicious thing like the watermelon should have to grow on the ground amid clumps of dirt. If I created the world, he thought, I would have had watermelons growing on the trees and walnuts growing on the ground. Yes, that seems most logical and sensible to me, he added with a wide-mouthed yawn. He looked around the tree that he sat under and saw all of the walnuts around him that seemed to have fallen off of the tree. Huh. They just fall off of the tree anyway, and then their green husks turn brown just like the ground they are laying on. Then, believing himself to be very wise and clever indeed for having come to such a brilliant conclusion, he leaned his back against the tree and fell into a peaceful sleep. He had not been asleep for very long when suddenly he was awakened by the most alarming and disturbing thump right on the tip of his large black nose. Ouch! he exclaimed as he reached up to rub his sore nose. He sat up and looked around only to find that a walnut had been the culprit. It must have fallen off the branch that is hanging right over my head, he thought. Indeed, said the startled bear in a rather nasal tone of voice. He reached up to rub his nose again as he watched and looked around to see if there were any more walnuts ready to fall. He scratched his head. And feeling a bit foolish, he said aloud, Dear me, what if that had been a watermelon? In the wisdom of nature we cannot exceed. To think ourselves wiser is foolish indeed. The End